In a pivotal shift toward modernizing its mechanized forces, the U.S. Army is progressing with the XM-30 Infantry Combat Vehicle Initiative, targeting a development launch between April and June 2025. According to a June 2025 Government Accountability Office GAO, briefing, this timeline positions the program for low-rate initial production later, from October to December 2027. Designed to replace the aging Bradley platform, the XM-30 aims to deliver next-generation firepower, adaptable protection, and operational flexibility through a modular, forward-compatible architecture. The XM-30 concept gained visibility in October 2022 when Rainmetal, a German defense firm, revealed a prototype derived from its Lynx KF-41 vehicle during the AUSA Defense Exhibition in Washington, D.C. This design is one of two contenders now deep in the development cycle. The Army is now navigating phases 3 and 4 of a five-step development roadmap, focused on detailed engineering and prototype assembly slash testing. Utilizing the middle-tier acquisition model, the program fast-tracks critical stages with dual-vendor competition. Two industry teams are constructing full-size prototypes, supported by agile software development tailored for rapid iteration and field integration. The prototyping effort is expected to wrap up by mid-2025, paving the way for contractor down selection by the end of that year. The competitors are General Dynamics Land Systems, GDLS, and American Rainmetal Vehicles, ARV. GDLS has entered the competition with its Griffin III, derived from the Ascot II chassis, boasting a flexible platform with updated armor and weaponry. ARV, meanwhile, leads a multi-firm alliance known as Team Lynx, incorporating major U.S. defense contractors such as Raytheon Technologies, Textron, L3 Harris, and Dural, and Allison Transmission. Their bid builds upon the Lynx KF-41 platform but is extensively customized for XM-30 specifications, especially in terms of digital architecture and modular systems. What truly distinguishes the XM-30 is its emphasis on firepower and integration. The vehicle will be equipped with a 50mm automatic cannon, far surpassing the current 25mm system on the Bradley in terms of reach and destructive potential. Alongside this, it will carry advanced anti-tank missiles and feature a fully networked fire control system capable of real-time data sharing and joint target coordination. These systems are designed to align with broader Department of Defense goals for interconnected multi-domain operations, including maritime and aerial coordination. Mobility is also being reinvented. The XM-30 will feature hybrid electric propulsion, a major leap from traditional mechanical systems. This shift reduces both heat and noise emissions while boosting fuel economy and agility. Such innovations are especially important for operations in contested zones, urban battlefields, or amphibious landing scenarios, areas where stealth and flexibility are vital. Its suspension and drive systems are engineered to handle everything from paved roads to harsh, unstructured terrains. On the survivability front, the XM-30 incorporates adaptive armor modules that can be reconfigured based on mission profile or anticipated threats. Active defense capabilities, possibly leveraging systems like Trophy or Strike Shield, are also expected. These systems allow the vehicle to intercept incoming rounds or missiles before impact. Additional safeguards include integrated CBRN, chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear, defense, robust cyber hardening, and resistance to electronic warfare, features that make it battle-ready for modern threat environments. The urgency to move beyond the Bradley platform stems from that vehicle's inability to accommodate the next wave of military technologies. With roots in the early 1980s, the Bradley lacks the necessary power generation, structural design, and digital framework to support contemporary tools such as electronic warfare modules, autonomous targeting systems, or modular system upgrades. The XM-30 is being built with all these limitations in mind, its architecture is designed from day one to evolve alongside emerging technologies over the next several decades. Yet, the GAO report does flag potential issues. One notable concern is the late identification of some key technologies, expected as late as Q3 FI 2025. This delay could increase the risk of rework, pushing back the program's transition into the major capability acquisition phase. 
The Army, however, is betting on its current dual prototype path to allow enough iteration and problem solving ahead of any full-scale production decisions. Strategically, the XM30 isn't just a new vehicle, it's a symbol of the Army's shift toward fully networked, multi-domain warfare. It is being built not only to meet Army requirements but to fulfill joint operational roles with the Navy and Marine Corps. Whether deployed in Europe, the Indo-Pacific, or nearshore environments, the XM30 is expected to serve as the technological backbone of American mechanized infantry for decades to come.